a hierarchy. You understand what I'm saying? There's many different schools, one aim. So now to say, so when we deal with these particular things and all, the reason why you would have different types of groups is, even though we might not know it, the hierarchy, which is the great brotherhood of Melchizedek or Medurathan or whatever you want to call it, even though we might not know it, the hierarchy understands that. So whatever school you go to or whatever school you go through um, is a school that brings you to your particular level or brings you right into the hierarchy. Now, you know the rules for all the brothers. If any sister's on the wall, you know you got to get on up. You know how that is. So, you know, if, if, if not, cool. But, you know, if any sisters come, you know the brothers got to be on post or whatever. Y'all got to get on up and give the ladies the seats. Check. All right. Um, sure. So, okay. Uh, so, um, what, we, what we're going to deal with today is we're going to deal with several things, but one of the things is I had an encounter with a particular person by the name of, he gave me his name, Henry. And later on, his name was revealed to be Patarneta Unra. And based on the line that he's, he came through was the line of Haley Selassie. So based on that, that is showing you in all of our travels and endeavors, I'm, I'm just, we, we can, I'm not really starting the lecture. I just wanted to get this little brief thing here. In all of our travels and endeavors is actually saying, why would this particular come? I'm mainly trained in Egyptology or, or, or whatever, and this particular person would come, and even though I've always understood the, the, that all of it comes from one, Greater Ethiopia or Cush, or you want to say Anubia, which is all one people, I understood why the first time we went to the Pinson Mounds, which is in um, Tennessee, this particular god, Thunderdog, came. Now, interesting, now we come to find out that Thunderdog is actually a form of Anubis, a Anpu. Now, that's, uh, so, uh, th that's the Native American side, then the Egyptian side came, and then the next time we meet up with this guy by the name of Henry, a Patadna to Unra, and he says he's of the, the Ethiopian line, or what you would call the Rastafarian line, and his last incarnation on earth was, uh, was Jamaica. So what, what they, what the key to this whole thing, what they're trying to say is, it's all one. And if you don't get it, that's it. It's all one. It was, it, all religions came from a group of black people, and some of the people say, hey, I'm going to step over this part of the world and do my thing, and some say, I'm going to step on this part of the world and do my thing, and all of a sudden, we come as later black people arguing on who is what, what, what is right and wrong. It's all one. That's, if you don't learn anything, we want to deal with that. So uh, just, I just want to know when you, uh, when you want to start this thing off, let me know something. Uh, Ultimately, the line of Judah just means the race of the people that is the strongest on the earth. This is why you would have your Lion King that would come out. They put the movie out to actually celebrate you or actually teach, them pe teach their people about you. They couldn't put Africans, that would be too blatant. So they put the Lion King out so anybody grown or child should, should, should go see the Lion King and should adopt that as one of the movies, an esoteric movie, even though it's an animation. So we're going to be giving out some other movies also too. Okay, come on in, sis. We're going to be giving out some other movies also, too. So now, there's a chapter in here talking about lion power. And I'll read some stuff on here. Now, this book came out, written by a white woman, uh, in 1990. The book has been out, of, the book went out of print around 93. Now the book is back in print, and we're going to try our best to get it. And now we have the means, we have uh, other means other than, you know, we can get books right here in the black community. Also, now a lot of my tapes have been kind of scarce recently since um, September. So we're going to, um, uh, in, the, in the future, we're going to have um, Sister Afrikita is going to be one of the main distributors of my tapes and also my new material also, um, my new material. Also at this particular time, since, okay, we, since I'm just talking, cutting the breeze, at this particular time, I think at this time you need to get out of spookism and quit being scared of things that stuff that was hidden from you by white people. Now all of a sudden these things are coming up and now everybody getting scared of it. Oh, that's the devil worship and all that old stuff. We're supposed to be adults now. Just like in New York. When I went to New York, I've gone to New York 10 times in the last, since, since last February. And oh, oh, we're in New York City and um, when you come, brother, you're gonna have to give new information. Okay, so I came with some new information. The stuff was kind of out there, and all of a sudden, the people saying, I'm crazy. You see what I'm saying? But anybody knows that 
any knowledge is, uh, unheard knowledge is dangerous to virgin ears. So therefore, if there is no such thing as a devil, as you know of, you know, I mean, I think you should be over this particular devil thing and you go into hell and this whole thing and some hell up under the earth and all that kind of thing. And we'll get into the esoteric version of that. How's it going, man? All right. <laughs> I think at this particular time, the stuff that they are calling satanic and stuff is actually the stuff that they hid of your stuff that they don't want you to know. And we get deep into some things, I'll, I'll, I'll deal with that. But the only, only thing I'm trying to say is, for stuff that seems spooky, we need to be adults at this particular time and quit beating, being spooked out about the spiritual world when we know we got this beast in the physical world that you work with every damn day. And if you ain't scared of this cracker, how in the hell are you gonna be scared of the spiritual world? You see what I'm saying? Bodon, things like that, uh, 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 Europe, Bodon, all this stuff is nothing but the science of uh, our science. The white boys know, it, know the stuff and all, and now they're spooking you out with the stuff. You see what I'm saying? Anything black magic, it literally means Magic means science, really. Okay. So if they say black magic, it means black science. You see what I'm saying? They tell you black magic because they, ma they know that you can use that stuff to kick their behind. You see what I'm saying? So, this is so, so we want to get out a dogmatized way of doing things. Now what we mean by that is, uh, this particular uh, lecture is dedicated to Patar Nutta Unra, who is one of the aviators of, 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 of Haley Selassie. So what this means is whether we would want to think on a fundamentalist way, or I only deal with the fundamentalist way on the way uh, Rastafarianism was taught to me. I don't deal with nothing else. We must understand that there's higher levels under Rastafari, and once these levels open up by the same principles, you need to bear with these principles. Just like every school has a hierarchy. Islam, Sufism has a hierarchy. You understand what I'm saying? Now, so when we see in this particular stuff, when we're talking about Haile Selassie, there was a whole hierarchy that brought that whole thing on in the first place. And we need to understand the other side, the invisible side. You see, also I want to say that, number one, even though I was trained in history, and mainly Egyptology is, is, is what I was trained with the last seven years, basically, I make no bones about it. I teach esoteric studies of metaphysical science, which means that which is hidden, the occult, that which is hidden, hidden from you. So now if I come up and there's some stuff that sounds strange, I did never say that I didn't teach this. I said I taught that stuff that which, which was supposed to be hidden. So how in the hell are you going to get mad at me for teaching some stuff that's supposed to be hidden? Now there's a whole lot of science that's coming out of England at this particular time, uh, uh, out at this particular time, and I just want to, want, to, want to say this, stuff came out of England, the stuff was banned. They didn't want it in the United States, a certain amount of things because it was dealing with mind, melanin, magic. Stuff was banned. So I'm in the metaphysical bookstore, so I meet up with a white boy that jumps on a plane and goes over and gets the doggone stuff. You see what I'm saying? For some reason, because he just figured I'm just stupid nigga don't know and he just want to get the buck, he sells me the stuff. Now this stuff, I come back to the black community to unveil the type of magic and the type of stuff that the white boys don't want us to get into. You understand what I'm saying? Now all of a sudden, oh, you done gone crazy. Now that's some spooked out, way out stuff. You see what I'm saying? But if you look at the Bible, there's strange things in the Bible. There's strange things in the Quran. You understand what I'm saying? But also, too, I think a person has to be dead. You know what I'm saying? For over a thousand years before we deem that particular stuff as valid. Remember? Well, if we went back 2,000 years ago, some of the stuff that the same people was writing, the people what? Call them crazy too. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not trying, not trying to put myself as no prophet. I'm just trying to say, this is the way we need to get to, to be adults. We need to get out of all the dogma and the separation. That's what the white boy wants. He knows that all this stuff is one, and there's only one black science. You understand what I'm saying? If we don't get anything, we understand that. The next thing you need to get is ye are gods, which we're going to go into the scriptures. And I, I thought I brought my book. But everybody know, John chap chapter 10, verse 34 to 36, you need to get that one, as what is Psalms 82, verse 1 to 6, and Romans, what's that, Romans, what was that, Romans, oh, I can't, I thought I brought my, 
my book. Anyway, there's a book you need to get. It's Annalise Skarin's book, Ye Are Gods. And understand that there's biblical passages that literally say that you are gods. So right now what we're going to do is, in the lines of the divine, what we're going to deal with now, now I put out some stuff on the radio called the Necronomicon. Everybody said, I don't want to mess with that stuff. That brother there got some yes, yes. messed up crazy stuff there and all this kind of stuff here. So now I'm going to put out, but see that was coming from the Sumerian tradition, which was black people in Samaria. You see what I'm saying? By way of Egypt, it was all one people. So now I'm going to put out some stuff that's coming from the Hebrew tradition, which is more than just the angelic host that you know of in the Hebrew that you, oh, you so love. I'm going to give you the powerful sides, which is called the Enochian deities. Now, this same stuff can kill the white man just as bad. So now, if you rebel against sin, then, don't, then, then get out of Hebrewism, get out of Christianity, or get out of whatever lines of the mind, because we're going to get some other power deities today also, too. So what I want to do right now is we're going to pull libations, and I want to give some um, powerful deities. Uh, I think I'll just give a few of them. And then I'm going to give, I'm going to name some sources that you can get on the Enochian sources. Uh, hmm? Okay, yeah, 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 come on. Well, uh, yeah, I'll do the li libation, then you introduce me. No, 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 come on. No, 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 you come on up. You come on up because I'm proud now because uh, now we have not only a uh, radio connection, now we have uh, uh, a lecture series, tape series, herbs and everything. They're going to get this thing to going now through the Sister Alphakiti and all. Okay. okay. While you're doing that, I'm going to be looking up some Enochian deities. I haven't been speaking that much. I spoke in a series last morning at school. 
but I haven't been speaking that much since um, November 19th and all. And basically what I've been doing is, because I, I, that's all I do, so it, that, that's my main sense of income, and, and, the, and the Spirit told me that they wanted me to stop. So after a while, I was thinking, well, hey, they're going to have me taken care of. But then again, I had to go through a transition period. And basically, literally, I starved for a couple of months and stuff like that and all. Car broke down, so we back on Marta. So, you know, back on Marta and the whole nine yards and shit. Like I said, one time, one day, me and the sister got so hungry, they had nothing like 50 cents. And we, we was in there trembling. I said, well, I got to do it. Ran and got a damn, went to the store and got, some, got a candy bar. And I gave her a piece, and we got a piece. <laughs> and drank some water. So we talking about, so we talking about, all we have is this particular knowledge, and I'm saying basically, at this particular time, it's not about trying to get paid and all that kind of thing. I can basically say that now, because I done starved enough to say that. So I can actually say that, for the simple, most people won't say that because they would be expecting some kind of income coming in where they can get paid in the next couple of months. And so they wouldn't say it ain't about getting paid because if they come out there driving the Lexus, the people on the crowd are calling and say, wait a minute, I thought you said it wasn't about getting paid. <laughs> so I can actually say this and all because the Spirit didn't say it. They don't intend for me to make too much of a doggone profit and all, right? And that's what it's about. So what I'm saying is also I can also say, well, they say, well, what is to the brother? Is the brother trying to get over on some people, trying to make a name for herself and all that kind of thing here? Hell, I'm on martyr. <laughs> so obviously... <laughs> If there's anything that's dealing with lucrative cash flow, it ain't coming from the doggone lectures. So, but then again, on the other hand, what they were also saying too is, we at a particular time, really, other than getting a little bit of food in your stomach and a roof over your head, you shouldn't really be concerned about all this stuff. Remember now, the false prophet, the false prophet, which is the white man, is banking on you still wanting that shit in the mall. Now, number one, like I said before, all you people saying the brother can't be righteous, the brother, because he cursing and all. Remember now, every, these curse words was not even invented before the scriptures was put down. So how in the hell can an English language that wasn't even around when the scriptures was put down thousands of years ago be, be a legitimate curse word to God? You see what I'm saying? God too busy trying to make sure that the doggone sun don't bump into the damn moon to worry about whether you cursing or not. That's called, and we got to break this dogma spell because that's called good human behavior, which the brotherhood gave to the white boy because he didn't know how to behave. You understand what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? You, you didn't have to do nothing. Your nature was good behavior. You see what I'm saying? So that's why the white boy, like I said before, that's why the white boy the reason why you would have these Quakers and different things in slavery to say we are abolitionists, you know, they say that we are against slavery, is because they're looking in the book. So that's letting you know that they don't have a nature of their own in good behavior. They got to always look in the book. That's where the whole thing, where, where the preacher cares around the Bible. That's also saying, well, what's going to happen when you take that Bible out of your hand? Where is your good, good, good behavior? So we got to understand things that we think of as moral dogma. The first thing when we get in religion, we want to we wanna deal with some things like, um, um, I don't, I don't, I want to act a certain way, right. and I want to do a certain thing and all. God, they, the spirit don't have a damn thing to do with none of that. Exactly. This, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I can't have sex. But the Bible tell you right there to go forth and multiply. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And, they, it, and if there's no such thing as no hell, and I think you need to get out of that type of thing, but we'll deal with that particular part too. You in hell now. Right. You see what I'm saying? So if there's no such thing as no hell that you're talking about up under no ground and all, who's getting penalized for some stuff? The good behavior thing where they was talking about being penalized is, being, is, is based on this European being penalized. Now we, we really need to deal with these things. You see what I'm saying? And all you got to do is just really think because what happened is based on this dogmatism, you even think that you're going, you're going to get chastised for even thinking good. So I don't want to think good. Even a thought is wrong. Even a thought is sin. You see what I'm saying? All this is stuff to lock you down. Yeah, gods. Well, hell, if I'm a god, you see what I'm saying? I got control over my own destiny because also I understand that I'm righteous anyway. There's certain things humane that you just ain't going to do. They never produced a black, uh, uh, a mass murderer out of you. That's why they had to frame Wayne Williams. That's why they're trying to frame O.J. You see, not like O.J. didn't deserve it because like, damn, O.J. ain't been black since he was 15. But that's not the point. It ain't about O.J. Simpson. The trial is not even about O.J. Simpson. The trial is about... The trial is about a race war in 95. Now, I just got the actual, there's a brother from Detroit, and see, that's the way I'm blessed. A brother from Detroit, uh, he'll send me packages of information on the New World Order. 
Because that's his thing. That's, he's a researcher in that thing. And they say you should never get into another per person's field. So a Steve Coakley, the spirit gives him the New World Order, so he does that, and he's good at it. I deal with the whole spiritual aspect, and I'm good at that. So this other brother is a New World Order researcher, so he sends me stuff. And the, and, and the white people are saying, they got a five-page article on how the OJ thing is nothing but a thing that they said race war in 95. When they did the man Bo Grimes, all the damn Ku Klux Klan will tell you it's race war in 95. Well, how are they going to spark that? Through the OJ thing. And we go, that's the first thing we're going to get on, because that's real crucial right now. People are saying, I don't want to hear nothing about no trial. That's bull jive, because you got to understand everything is something. You see, the white man would not preempt no soap operas and already done cost more than the Vietnam War up to this time to do that for nothing. Check. Now, first of all I want to do is, I want to get into these Inukian deities. Now, I'll explain what these things are later on. Enoch is the Hebrew form of the god Sut, or later form of the god Tehuti. Enoch just is a simple word for God. Enoch. You see what I'm saying? So now, when we're saying these Inukian deities, we are talking about, I'm going to tell you some works that you need to get. Start pouring these things so we can start kicking these crackers behind. We're doing it every day. Crackers can, the cracker, Illuminati got my tapes. FEMA, all of them got my tapes, but they can't come within a two mile radius around my crib. You see? Because that's all you need. If you, if you, you see? But see, I ain't in it for the glory. I ain't in it to try to sit up here, you see, and come out here and look a certain doggone way and all the kind of thing here. I don't care about that. I come in here and tell you, I ain't, ain't no shame in my game. I come in here and tell you, hell, I'll be starved too. See what I'm saying? You know, I'm a junkie nigga in my house. I just throw shit all over my house. So I was asking the spirit. I said, well, damn, I said, um, why is it? I said, we used to have a lot of spiritual visitors because the sister, they come to, they, the sister know when she, then they in there because they come through her. I said, why we ain't had no spiritual business? They said, clean up your damn house and then we come back. We ain't coming in no... I said, well, it ain't nasty. They said, no, it's junky as hell. You see clothes all over the place. But I'm saying right now we need to get out of this whole fronting thing. You know what I'm saying? Somebody coming up in here and giving you what they say, what they say, learning how to say nothing well. You see what I'm saying? If you got divine knowledge, then you don't have to say nothing well. It's just, hey, straight up. You just say it the way you want to say it. And right now we should have no scruples. None whatsoever. All right, now, we're going to get into these Inukian deities, so I'm going to post some, uh, so I'm going to post some of these deities, and you go, Ashe. All right, now, I'll explain what they are. First, we're going to do is we're going to de de dedicate the lecture to a guy by the name of Pata Natu Unra, who died in 19 1894, that came back uh, uh, last September and busted in our house and ate up our Fig Newtons and all that stuff. We'll get in that in a few minutes. So this is for him, Henry Pata Natu Unra. Ashe, Haley Selassie, Ashe. Okay, we're going to do these in the Nookian. Oh, Ashe, Sanu, Ashe. Uh, Barsog, Ashe. Goho, Ashe. Ayad, Ashe. Zout, Ashe. Lanch, Ashe. Chal, Ashe. Uh, ben Bonfo, Ashe. Saraha, Ashe. Zazal, Ashe. Ra, Ashe. I, Ashe. Ta, Ashe. Nasad, Ashe. Odd. I say gra, I say ta, I say malfog, I say das, I say hogo, I say a few more. These some powerful deities. I uh, want to get, okay, ready? Ka, I say na, uh, nafa, I say zimas, I say odd, I say kama, I say ta, I say nala, I say zan, I say sobo, I say thiel, I say knock. I say fog, I say ahad, I say dust, I say uros, I say bubal, I say grasam, I say kasam, I say oharal, I say kaba, I say pur, I say dot, I say nasarog, I say kab, I say oram, I say ida, ida, I say fihal. I say faral, farazam, I say odd, I say zala, I say an, uh, anda, I say enoch, I say. Now those are Enochian deities. Uh, and I'm explain what those are when I get into a few things. Right now I want to give out the chief necronomicon deities, which is the same thing coming from Samaria. These are the powerful deities that the cracker can't mess with you about. We're talking about straight up kill you if he come and harm the black people, which you call the royal bloodline. Check. Okay, 
uh, Azathoth, Ashi, Yog Sathoth, Ashi, Hestar, Ashi, Nilahotep, Ashi, Shutulu, Ashi, Sub Nigaroth, Ashi. Those are the main ones. Okay, now, Tiamat, Ashi, Lilith, Ashi. Now, okay, let's give a few Egyptian deities and we'll be ready. Because, okay, then we go, uh, Layla, okay, that's one. Allah, Ashe, that'll be one. Um, Jah, Ashe, Rastafari, Ashe. Um, okay, let's see, uh, give some Egyptian ones. Osa, Ashe, Aset, Ashe, Sekhmet, Ashe, Mao, Ashe, Heru, Ashe, uh, Awas, Ashe, Thunderdog, Ashe, Thunderbird, Ashe, I don't want to uh, uh, clean out this water. Give me some. Muawas, Ashe, Lazarus, Ashe, Bath, Ashe, Beth. I say Patah, I say Ra, I say Raziel, I say Sanat Kumara, I say Kutumi, I say Suya, I say Kaziel, I say Michael, I say Haniel, I say Bubiel, I say Lahiliel, I say Mentu, I say Muntu, I say Ankat Lakansu, I say Nobadru Ali, I say Anbalaj Muhammad, I say Malcolm X, I say Martin Luther King, I say Marcus Garvey, I say, uh, hold on, uh, Give me a few more. Uh, I say, that's um, Bob Marley. Okay, right. But okay, well, I'm glad you said that. I didn't want him to get mad because the last time he he, he pissed me. Uh, last time uh, 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 he got pissed off with me. See, and I want to get that right now because uh, Bob came up in the place and and, and and said, "Who is this nigga here?" So you know. Okay. So uh, okay. So now we're gonna what's that? I say Denmark Vesey, I say Sojourner Truth, I say Harriet Tubman, I say, I say Ella Baker, I say uh, Mary McLeod Bethune, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, I say, Obatala, I say, Oshun, I say, Ogun, I say, Oduduwa, I say, Arula, I say, Chango, I say, Oya, I say, Imanja, I say, Arisha Oku, I say, I say, okay, now, uh, I say I get that. Okay, now we're gonna. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna call out my grandmother Irene Shaw, my father Ali Hemet Senior, Ali Hemet Junior. I say uh, uh, Raymond Shaw. I say Mabel D. Ford. I say all the Hemet family, all the Shaw family, all the Davis family. Now, what we want to do now is when I count to one, two, three, you start calling out your ancestors until this ball is gone. One, two, three. I say. I say. I say. I say. Ashe, 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 Ashe. Okay, to all gods known and unknown, Ashe. To all ancestors known and unknown, Ashe. All right. Okay, now. All right. Born and unborn, Ashe. Okay, now we got that out the way. Good. Now that means that can nothing come. Now this is very important because when I was in Jacksonville, Florida, like I said. They had some white witches, and they stole some of their spirits or whatever, these white spirits, and they tried to come in, but I, I had them. I pulled these here, and they couldn't get through. So then they called one of the brothers up there saying, we, we just want to meet the brother. So tell the brother, can he come by our house, and uh, we want to meet him and give him some more information. And all uh, some white people now. Now, I know dog, oh, well, when I step up in their house and they done pulled their stuff, my stuff can't get in. This is real deal. Now, the reason why I know, I used to pull these libations, and one of the brothers who can see, he bust in the house, he's like, oh, I see all them people over there. It was all in the house. And this is what we got to start dealing with for protection. Because it's, it's, I mean, it's a, it's a real spiritual thing going on here. Oh, everybody claim they want to deal with the spirit, but they want to deal with the illusionary world. This is the illusionary world. This is called a petty universe. This is all a hologram. So I'm going to deal with this next week. I'm going to deal with this in, in, in a thing. But today I want to dedicate some stuff on some serious things on religion, and some other things. But right now, what I want to do is I want to deal with some hard copy stuff. Should we do that with hard copy? Yeah. Okay, then. We're going to deal with the hard copy. Like I said before, so people heard the radio station, there was, to let you know that we are at war. Now, like I said, the Matrix 3 said that there was a plane, that, there was a train that was derailed in 1991. And that plane, when they got that train that was derailed in 1991, it was full of shackles. So some people might say, oh, that might just be for prison systems. But one of the brothers saw another train two weeks ago, and that particular train had shackles, and the shackles was made inside of the train. 
You understand what I'm saying? So that means that we got this whole Geronimo thing and this whole thing they did with the Japanese and it's actually instead of a slave boat, it's a slave train now. Yeah. Now to go further, they have started closing down Amtrak stations. You understand what I'm saying? In these smaller towns, they start closing down Amtrak stations. And in Indiana, they've already taken the Amtrak station and converted it into a concentration camp. And as a result, they got an incinerators in there that can burn up to 2,000 bodies at one time. You see? And so what happens is it's the right system because they can, they can run you in from the trains. They first, they'll hold you over at your local uh, Dome Stadium, Fulton County Stadium. Those are the first holding tanks. Then they take you and ship you to the trains. And these trains can take you to these concentration camps all across America. So now the reason why Amtrak has closed down most, most of their lines is because now they're going to use those train systems for concentration camps. Now they just closed down 10 concentration camps last week. Excuse me, army bases. They closed down another 10 within the last two weeks, in the last, two, last five years. What's that? Okay, like I say, if you got a sister, some of y'all brothers done asked them chairs. You see what I'm saying? Now, also now, I got two, I got two brothers that's coming back. They're coming back for some feet with some FEMA reports they want to pass out. So let those brothers in. Those are my drivers also. I got to treat them right because it's raining outside. And I don't want to walk home. <laughs> so, you know, that kind of stuff. Now, so now, they, they, now you heard Senator Graham, the guy that did the Graham, what, at Rudman, Hollinsville, whatever that thing is, yeah. said when they asked him, when they asked him, he said he was running for, for president in, uh, now, you know, damn well ain't going to be no presidents here in no 1996. Even Deborah Blair told you that the last president was going to be Bill Clinton. You see what I'm saying? Bill, your new president is Newt Gingrich. Yeah. Now, he said that he was running for president, and he announced his presidency, la what, last week? At the University of Houston, and asked him what he going to do on crime. He said, if I got to strap barbed wire on every closed-down army base, we're going to do that. Now, we know that this is all they're running in the same system. Now, all of a sudden, Newt Gingrich has just released this book. 